hello everyone welcome back in this video i am going to make this very delicious sweet with bottle gourd loki or ghia let's start with the recipe and please do not forget to like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell icon for further video updates take a medium size loki or bottle gourd take half of the loki and then grate it put the grated loki in a strainer then squeeze out all the water out of it with your hands as shown in the video this sweet is called lao polla pitha in assam and made during the festival of bihu in spring after all the water is squeezed out transfer the loki in a clean bowl add one fourth cup of rice flour or rice powder then add two tablespoon of whole wheat flour or atta now mix everything together nicely Use your hands to mix it up properly. After everything is mixed up properly and a dough is formed, take small portions and then flatten with your hands. These are ready to be deep fried. But before that, we'll make a jaggery syrup or a jaggery chashni for which I have taken one cup of jaggery and then add one cup of water and two whole cardamoms. Cook until the jaggery melts and bring it to a boil. The syrup does not need to be very thick. It should be of medium consistency. Cook this on a medium low heat. In the meantime, we will deep fry our loki dumplings. Put oil in a karai for deep frying. Put the dumplings one by one once the oil is hot enough and then let them cook until they are golden brown on both sides. In the meantime let's check on the jaggery syrup. It's almost ready. Let it cook on low flame. Let's turn over the dumplings to cook on the other side. Once the dumplings are golden brown, transfer them to a plate and let them cool down for 5 minutes. Let's carry on with the rest of the dumplings. The jaggery syrup is ready and I am putting the dumplings in jaggery syrup and I'll cook them for 5 minutes. Turn the dumplings over using a tong so that they absorb the syrup properly add all the remaining dumplings and then cook them for 5 more minutes once they are done turn off the heat and transfer them to a serving bowl one by one pour the syrup over them keep covered for at least one hour before serving so that they are tender soft and nicely soaked in the jaggery syrup Hope you like the recipe and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video.